became the catalyst by which a flame of hope was sparked in an individual's life? What if this person went on to reach their world with a message of hope? Night for the Lost provides you the opportunity to equip missionaries and missions organisations around the world with evangelism resources. Resources like the Fire Bible, the Book of Hope, New Testaments, CDs, DVDs, evangelism tracks, outreach websites, and new believer study courses are multiplying and empowering the efforts of missionaries to communicate the story of Jesus. Through the generous giving of churches, individuals, and businesses, Night for the Lost is going to some of the most unreached people's groups in the world. From the jungles of the Amazon to the sands of the Middle East to the educational institutions of America, the ultimate goal of Night for the Lost is to provide God's work to every person in the world. Though the evolution of technology has created a vast array of evangelical resources, the goal of Night for the Lost remains steadfastly the same to communicate the message of hope to a field that's right for home. Emphasis of national and world ministries, your involvement is key to the continuing success of Life for the Lost. With very prayer and frequent giving, people all over the world can know about Christ for the very first time. How many generations will you live? Life for the Lost, one message in many languages. If you want more about how you can become involved, visit lftl.ag.org. Good morning, Bracewood. Well, I just need to say a few things about life for the lost. In Mark 16, 15, Jesus says, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And in Acts 1, 8, he says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes in you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of of the earth. See, light for the lost provides all the needed materials for these missionaries to work with. Bibles, all the printed materials, the videos, audio visual instruments, they provide those things. Through your giving, it is the gift that you give to them that enables them to do these things around the world. It's a clarion call. It is it's a call for help. In Acts chapter 20, verse 35, the Bible says, By all these things, I have shown you that by walking in this way, we must help the weak. So in order to help, you must first of all hear the cry. You must first hear the cry. I'm going to spell help, and I'm done. In Acts 16, 9, during the night, Paul heard a cry. He said, come over to Macedonia and help us. You know, Paul heard the cry first, and then he went to Macedonia and helped the people over there. And do you know that when Paul heard the cry and went, Paul changed the life of one person, that changed the life of one person, that changed the life of another person, and so on. It trickled down to changing the life of Mother Teresa. How many of you know that Mother Teresa was from Macedonia? You know that Paul did not meet Mother Teresa here on earth. But his obedience, his willingness to help change somebody's life, that changed someone's life, that con connected to Mother Teresa, who now changed the lives of many people in India that has impacted the world. So now you hear the cry first, just like Paul heard the cry. Then the next thing you do when you hear the cry, you don't just sit down and listen to the person cry. You encourage the one that is crying. You encourage them. You just don't sit there like the, the good Samaritan. He saw somebody that was beaten down. First of all, he heard the cry, the moaning of this guy on the roadside. And then he went down from his horse and encouraged that guy and said, it's all going to be okay. And then he just don't end there. You lend a hand. Lending a hand means you give. Or you lift the person up. Whoever is crying, you hear the cry. You encourage them. You give. You lend a hand. And when you lend a hand, you pray for them. You see, when you help, you hear the cry, you encourage them, you lend a hand, and you pray. Thank you for giving. God bless you.